back on the project. It had stalled in the last year. What with one thing and another, different projects. But I don't seem to have already took these side bits off. That's a 10 mil bolt on there. I don't know if that's um, the original. And then this pulled off and unclipped from there. Same the other side. As you can see, there it's got a little screw thing in there. I think that snapped off in there, so we'll have to drill that out. Um, found some T30 bits in here. I think that's going to be awkward to get to, but there, look, one there, one there. And, uh, if I can show you underneath. Bits here, look one there, a series of them all the way along. As you can see, the crash bar is quite corroded, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of welding here. Another one there, that's the idea of it. Take that off and see what's involved. You're gonna need to put WD 40 on the thread of these, they're probably corroded in. I've Fortunately for my drill, I've got these little wire brush attachments. I mean, if you haven't, just use a normal wire brush. What I'm going to do is clean the T30 screw pieces up. Look, watch. Try and get on the inside of it. Clear all that debris up in there. So you can see all the corrosion. Look at that. It's all bad. So if you haven't got one of these, get, a, uh, get the wire brush on it and a small screwdriver and dig any debris out of the, the, uh, the, the fit in there. So what you're going to have to do, see the thread? Through where the, the uh, screw piece goes, you can see all the rust here. Look at it. Just need to spray the thread up on that, give it a good soaking. I say I'm not sure whether it's going to do any good. I might have to apply some heat because the thread might have gone completely with all the corrosion. I'm not sure. Well, I've got to be honest. I think the thread's gone completely. I've just looked at it, there is no thread, it's just so badly corroded, so, um, and I think I'll probably have to make new brackets up here as well to go on there, weld something up and then re-tap it, put my own bolts in, they're completely gone, it's just spinning around, so it's an angle grinder job and I think they're all going to be the same, I don't think there's any of them that are any good. Good. Right, these ones are difficult. Um, what I've had to do is actually I managed to lever this down a bit, whether that's the right thing to do, just to give me a little bit more room. It did budger a bit. I couldn't use a star piece, I've had to use an Allen key, an old one from my selection box. Getting that star piece, it's just a standard Allen key. Right, get it in there. Right, try and get it as tight. I mean, it's not a brilliant fit to be honest. I'll try and get it as tight as possible, like that. And I managed to turn that a minute ago. Watch, see. But when I put that back, I might even um get myself a bolt or something like that with washers on it because it's always easier to get off it's a ridiculous idea right what I've done I didn't use the angle grind I've just got one of these out so put the piece back in for oh, a little corrosion and I'm using the, the screwdriver behind the plastic part 
and levering it to put tension on whatever threads left and eventually it it came out so you keep levering it it'll show but just lever it like that I uh, didn't want to use the angle grinder because you end up destroying stuff right, next stage get your two hands get hold of the bump and pull and then you find it sort of unclips and then you've got the um, fog lamp there just press them in <coughs> just squeeze the uh, fog lamp clips in and that comes off uh, pulling this all the way along I assume it's the same this side as well I'll pull that look watch pull it. Oh, something else holding that in under the lamp there All right just you just keep pulling you see there you can see how badly corroded that is just completely gone these are um just polystyrene like impact parts of the bumper they just pull off oh look there's a boss pibonate in there <laughs> uh, so the bumper's off but you can see this is badly corroded the crash bar so I'm I'm going to have to add some metal in there some stage. Next stage is the bumper crash bar. Um, I've looked underneath, oh, it's so corroded. Um, yeah, look. So I'm going to take this off and weld some plates in here. But there's two... I've sprayed the other end of the thread right there. Like right the back with WD-40, two 18mm bolts that are holding it on there. And on the opposite side as well. Same thing, you're going to need to clean the bolts up with a wire brush or a drill bit attachment. Good clean. And WD-40 the other side. But um, fortunately I've cleaned that one up and that's coming off. So that's the plan. Oh, that's the plan is to get them off, and that should slide the bumper. Crash. Right, bolts are out now. So you just get it with your hand. Oh, look how badly corroded they. There you go. Look. look at that. So what I'm gonna do? Not buying new. I'm gonna get my welder out and some steel. Cut these bits out. That's the bad bit underneath. Obviously, that's the bit getting splashed on the road and salt and what have you. The top bit don't get touched. But um, yeah, I'm gonna weld all that up. I've got some metal laying around here. Look at it. Right, I've cut them. Um, what I'm going to do is just go over it and cut the rotten bits out um, like that. Small sections. With that, I've got a piece of cardboard, so I'm going to bend that over. See on that lip? And then bend it over there and draw around it, and that can be my template then. And then over here, I've got an old lawnmower. It's quite heavy duty steel I'm gonna cut sections out of that to use. There's my template cut out, just moulded around, pushed in there let's see, and transferred to that to that other lump of steel and then cut that out and then try and bend it here and be welded onto there. Cut a piece of steel out as I said with a cardboard cut out. As you can see look I put little um cuts in the side. Uh, I haven't heated this up, I just bashed it over an anvil, bashed the corners around, 
and then placed it on there again as you can see look see what's going to go there not too bad and sort of here sections here i do cut little sections out at a time and plate it up 